Greetings and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you. Thank you for tuning in. If you do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. Every week I come on to bring inspirations, information, and thoughts and ideas that is to inspire you and help you make a change within yourself. So what is inspiration? Inspiration is to tune in and connect with what is from the inside, what the creativity within you, what is your passion and it's to ignite that of is within you. Today, I wanted to talk about love and how we perceive love. And so many of us fall in love with the idea of being in love. And love in itself can be the most beautiful thing that there is. Haven't you been in love? And what is it that you love? But love also can be quite scary. We hold ourselves back. We close our heart. Not so much because we do not want to be hurt, but is because if you get to love me, or the person gets to love you, that means you also have to love them back. And loving someone unconditionally, which I do not believe there is such a thing other than dogs and animals that truly love you unconditionally, because human beings, there's always conditions we always have conditions and when we love someone we open our heart and the condition is I want you to love me back I want you to appreciate me I want to make sure that you do not hurt me but if we are not loving to ourselves and we're not comfortable with who we are and what love is do we truly know how to love someone else? Love can be scary in a way that if you get to love me, that means I have to love you back. And it's not that we don't know how to love that person. Is The scary part is, I don't know if I can meet your expectations of what you want from me and because we safeguard ourselves from ourselves and we hold ourselves and protect ourselves we don't even take the step forward to reciprocate their love and what happens is we shortchange the person who's loving us and we shortchange ourselves how many times have you been in the position that someone has said I love you and you went <gasps> and you stood there and you paused and because of not knowing how to receive their love you giggled or you self-sabotaged yourself or you rejected their love not knowing how to receive not knowing how to give back there is plethora of love we love our children we love our parents even that is conditional we love our animals even that is conditional 
But animals do not have conditions to love us. Or, I should say, their condition is not as much as a human. So, the most beautiful thing on earth is to love and be loved. And remember one thing. I'm getting emotional about love. So there is something that I too have been working on is to love myself. It's called self-love. And realizing that self-love is quite different than being selfish and self-centered is to say, I see me. And I'm okay. So when someone compliments either me or compliments you, how do you receive compliment? You say, thank you. Because the compliment is in their eye and what they perceive they want to compliment you on. It's not always about you. It's because they feel good within and you have said something, touched them, in a way, or have made an impact that they are thanking you. And when they say how beautiful you are, they are complimenting you, but in their eye. So make sure you do not reject people when they compliment you, because they are giving you a loving gesture. It's how they see you. That is loving. Compliments are the most beautiful thing on earth. I am so comfortable in complimenting men and women, even if I do not know them. If I see something beautiful, I will compliment. Even if it is someone that is in passing, Complimenting their smile, complimenting the way they move and what they said. And realize that in itself is a loving gesture. Smiles are saying to someone else, I'm so happy, I'm comfortable, I am content, and I am smiling. Hopefully, my smile puts a smile on your face. And that is what the trickling effect is. When we love, open your heart. There's four ways of loving. When we give too much of ourselves and we deplete ourselves, Remember, you may say, I am loving you, I am liking you, I am there for you. But when you deplete yourself, you lack love. Another one is to constantly take, 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 take because you lack love. And that depletes the other person because there is only so much they can give. And when we constantly cling on, that is not love. It's saying, I need. Need, being needy, is different than needing someone in our life. We all need someone. We all want to have the support system, the friendship, the tribal connection, so that when we want to reach out and say, and we need help, we can make that call or the email or the text. When I say I am here for you, when I'm up until 1.30 and I do respond to some emails, is because I have chosen to be there for you. And when I go to sleep, it's me doing my self-love, self-care, self-attention. 
So did I fulfill my needs, my body's needs, and that I can be rejuvenated for the next day. And that is the intention of today. Having plethora of self-care, self-love, so that from overflow of that, you can give to someone else. Do not fear. Let's put it this way. Let me change that. It's okay to be vulnerable. Loving someone is to give permission for them to see you for who you are. And that is the scary part. It's one of the things that I do at 3E is for you to get to see all of you, to peel away the layers that we are going to do at a retreat, to unveil and let go even that one veil that you have in the privacy, in the tribal section within the people that are there for the same reason. To say, I see you, see me. No judgment. No analyzing, no judging, no criticizing. But letting go. We all wear masks. And sometimes we hide behind our own masks because we have forgotten how to love ourselves. Constantly waiting for someone to say, I love you. And when was the last time you loved yourself? With no fear, no conditions, no masks, no veils. So today, from this day forward, when you light the light, as I do, light my candle. This morning, before I got up, I took five minutes of just staying put, doing nothing. Remember, doing nothing is doing something. And when you do nothing but close your eyes, as a matter of fact, how about we do this? Take a moment, sit back. If you are sitting, sit back for just a moment. Shoulders back. Let's take a few moments of self-love so that you can also attract the love that you are so deserving of. Take a nice deep breath from your abdominal area so that you can bring oxygen and vitality into your core where it is the nurturing part of you, where you digest life from. And as you allow the oxygen and vitality to come in, Exhale through your mouth and release all negativity and hurt, all negative love, all fake love, love that it was only in words and not in deed. And as you breathe, love your body with all that there is. Every ounce of you, every part of you. If there is pain, love the pain. If there is any hurt or pain in your mind, let it drop and release it through your mouth. And just imagine a bubble, blowing a bubble. 
And you know how, as children, we love bubbles. And when you blow into a bubble, it goes into this beautiful crystal bubble, the clarity of a bubble, that it's absolutely clear and beautiful and moving. But inside the bubble, when you look through it, you see the color of rainbow. And just imagine that rainbow in your mind and let the bubble burst and release all misgivings and let it go. If anyone has hurt you, either knowingly or unknowingly, place it in a bubble and let it go. If you believe you have hurt someone, either knowingly or unknowingly, place it in a bubble. Ask for self-forgiveness and self-love and release it. Let it go. If there is any ideas, thoughts, and new creations that you would like to create, become one with all that there is and fill yourself with light and the light of a candle that will light it and ignite the best in you, your creativity, your passion, your love, your goodness. And surround yourself in the clarity of that bubble. And when you are ready, release. And let all the clusters of bubble just float away in time and space. And let them be. And when it's needed, they will burst or they would just fade away. The beauty of who you are. Remember that you come from love and it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to love within and realize that not only you matter, but you are good enough. You are good enough to love and be loved and be loving. And that's okay. Open your heart. Open your mind and see beyond what is. You do have a sound mind. Have a loving heart and a strong body to hold you safe and safeguard you. What is there not to love, right? In closing, always evoke what was. Embrace what is about you, all of you. And no matter what has happened in your life, remember, your history does not make you who you are because you can change and make a new story and evolve to what it is that you want to be. More loving, more giving, and receiving with both hands. Your masculine, your feminine energy, no matter who is watching, remember that we have both sides of it. So embrace who you are because you do matter. Until our next session, 
what is it that President Kennedy said? Fear is false emotions appearing real, but what he said is, it's not what you can do for, it's not what your country can do for you, but what is it that you can do for your country? And change it. Change it to, it's not what you can do for me, but what I can do for myself and then for you. Self-love, not selfish. Let go of the conditions and open your heart and mind. Until next week. I hope this session gave you something to love. So pass it forward and share. See you then.